In the previous video, we uh, worked out how long it takes for light from the uh, from the sun to reach us here on Earth. Um, well, you see, by by understanding uh, standard form, it allows you to work uh, work with large large numbers easily. So 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 the distance from the um, from the sun to the Earth, and then you divide it by the speed of light. You see, the distance from from the sun. To, to the Earth is quite big, um, uh, so so you have to use standard form, and the um, the speed of light is also very big, so you have to use standard form. So so by understanding standard form, you can you can you can work out, uh, you can ask better questions. For example, how long does it take for light um, from the sun to reach, let's say, Pluto? Um, uh, so so what what you do? Go on the internet, find out uh, distance uh, sun Pluto. And, and then uh, type in something. Find out the the distance from the sun to Pluto, and then you've got yourself the speed of light. So all you have to do is get the whole distance divided by the speed of light. That would tell you, and then convert it to minutes if you want. And then that would tell you the the time it takes from the sun to get to um, to uh, to Pluto. Or you um, so say so, so this is our, our solar system here. So uh, th th this is. All the planets are revolving around like this. Okay, um, this is our solar system. Now, suppose we we um, we, we we were to uh, to let, let's say to expand even further. So so this is a nearest star. Okay. Oh, if if you are here, and if you if you type in um, if you look on the internet for, for the nearest star to us, then this is a trick question. You see, the, the nearest star to us is actually uh, this sun here. It's not this one over here. Okay, because the nearest, because the sun is a uh, a star. A, well, well, th this would be the nearest um, star to us. So maybe you, you, if you, if you were to look on the internet, maybe you could um, search for the nearest star to the sun. So, so this is the sun here, the nearest star to the sun. Let's let's say it's this one here. I think you, in order to find out, you had to find out the um, the name first. You need to know the name of this this star. So, so maybe you um, you could type in uh, well, find the name. Type in maybe name of nearest uh, star to the sun or something like that. Uh, find out the name first, and and then and once once you've got the name, then then you can uh, search for distance. Uh, so, so may, maybe maybe uh, type in distance and then sun and then the name of this uh, this star here. Uh, well, anyway, find out the name, and once you've got the name. Then uh, find out the uh, the distance, uh, and once you've got the distance, then then let, let's let's call this distance here d, okay? The distance from uh, from from our sun to the nearest uh, the nearest star. So, uh, so 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 let's call this distance d. And then if if you if you want to know the time it takes for the um, for the light from here to reach to here, then uh, then get d divided by c. That will give you the time it takes. Um, uh, and then may, maybe convert it into uh, into minutes or hours or, or or years. And and already you know you know from here to here it already takes eight minutes. Um, what how long will it take from here to Pluto? And and uh, and the thing is the thing is the the time it takes um, from here from from this sun to to uh, to to this star here. Um, I think it will surprise you. It, it will take a very long time. It's not. It's not in the region of minutes or maybe. Well, I think it would take a long time. I don't know how long. You you probably have to look it up. Or or maybe maybe um, maybe find out the 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 um, sorry sorry hang on. Maybe find out find out the um, the time it takes for the sun to leave our solar system. You see, our, our solar system. Let, let's say it's it's this big here. Um, but the thing is. You need to you need a, a way of defining the edge of the of our solar system. So how do you find out the um, how do you define uh, define the the edge of the solar system? So you, so, so on the internet you probably have to type in define uh, define uh, edge of universe. Uh, sorry, edge of our solar system because. How, how do you know what, what the edge of the solar system? What, how, how do you know where it is? So, so we need a precise definition. How do we define? Define means precise meaning of something. So, we want to know the precise meaning of of, of uh, edge of our solar system. Or, or maybe maybe Pluto. Pluto. You see, Pluto is not not a planet. 
whereas uh, whereas Earth is a planet, Mars is a planet, and so on. But Pluto is not a planet. What? So we need to find out um, definition of planet. You see, definition uh, definition is also well. Definition means precise meaning. Or, or, pre, type in definition of planet. So why is it that um, Earth is a planet? Jupiter is a planet. Why is it? Well, why isn't Pluto a planet? Well, you see, in order to, for it to be a planet, it has to satisf satisfy uh, certain uh, criteria. So, uh, well, Earth satisfies everything. Jupiter satisfies everything. But um, but Pluto, it may be satisfied this, this, but not this, not this. Or, well, it, it, well look up the precise, de type in definition of planet or something like that. And uh, so say say this is our our solar system, okay? This is the edge, and, and we don't know what the what the precise definition of the edge of our solar system is. You you probably have to investigate for yourself. And let, let's say this solar system here uh, is just here. I, I don't know if there are planets. To, uh, uh, we, we don't know if there are planets to the nearest uh, to our nearest star. So so you might what well, well, I don't anyway. You 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 might have to look it up. And the the thing is. Um, if this is our our solar system here, and if this is uh, their solar system here, um, what's in between? You see, don't say it's nothing in between here, because in the past we said air is nothing, but it turns out that there are lots of things floating about in air, uh, our air. The, the, then here you can see, well, what's in between here? It, I don't. I don't know. If it's nothing. It can't be nothing. There, there must be something. I, I don't know. Can, can we definitely say it's nothing in between, in between our solar system and this solar system? Can we truly say there's nothing in, 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 in between? Well, that's that's something that you have to look up, look up on the internet. And um, and when you find out these questions, please post it in the um in uh, in the in the comment section so that I know. Thanks.